tired but still pursuing. Weary but still pursuing. Nkatele kodwa ngizaqhubeka. Ngikhathele kodwa ngizaqhubeka. I am tired. I'm born weary. I'm ready to drop you. Listen if you see me now dropping your flesh. Ngibo ni moti i flesh uyijele ukuthi uyabingele kanti uyashuthi anything can happen from now move aside my brakes are not working anymore move aside to be weary means to be drained have you ever been so drained emotionally that you can't think anymore have you ever been so drained that you can't even utole u pastor ethi find your purpose you like I even I, I can't even see dents and as and as no man dip. I purpose is so good to bandy all tall. I am drained. Someone said to me, "I'm under the weather." I'm like, "Hey, who should you know that way?" But you know, I'm emotionally drained. Ye can't tell. They they wait upon the Lord. I am tired. 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 Not because I don't trust God anymore, but I am tired. Not because I don't have faith in God anymore, but I am just tired. Have you ever been in that situation that you are just tired? You can't even pray. Can I talk to you? You remember the time that you used to pray and you you feel God, but when you start praying now, tears comes out be before the words could come out. You are tired. In your mind, you know what you want to say, but your mouth can't utter a word. Tired, but still pursuing. Here is the story. Uncle Uncle is 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 is, uh, is addressing Abantu and about Israel. Seven more shenga lenge lugu tungu lugu. Agasa funu ngene lenda weni yabo. I will narrate the story to you. And manga babe be sebe sebonile. Babe tin chalo me be chali. Ba chale ba lime ba shagu le ba kite but mesel scats of runa. Ba figa babaga midian bezo tatis runo sa. Have you ever worked so hard in your life when it's time to reap the harvest? Ube kona bak tata. Have you ever worked so hard in your life that you built up a proposal? Just when you bet by a fun proposal, kutuila shegile, kutuila ibona nansi mtu akia iya materializer elsewhere. Have you ever been in that situation? That's the plan of the devil that you plant, you plow, ushagu ule ukete, mesu is cut off unaba figa baga midian. And I declare today, whoever is a midian in your life taking what belongs to you, it stops today, it ceases now in the name of Jesus. Shout amen. They used to come and take everything that belonged to them. Have you ever run away from what belongs to you? Ukidion, wayotash. They are tired. They are tired of plowing, but not eating. They are tired of plowing and not enjoying their harvest, but still Gideon pursued. But still Gideon was still pursued. And the Bible says, when God visited Gideon, like how God is visiting all of us today. Puloma caves, Yes, we come to church, but we have our own caves. Because I don't want to ask them to ask me, Ginchan. And 
God visited Gideon in that cave. And, and God said, Gideon, kawel na mantla. Hamangala o mantla now. And Gideon said, ah, ah, you, uh, th this is not the angel of the Lord. Because if it was the angel of the Lord, uyaz gu tingi shulawe si pisimo. Uyaz gu nsagala nempilu enyam. Uyaz gu tuwa ingi leg tashen. My family is not known. I'm the least in my family. So how are you going to do this? And God said, I will use the strength that is within you. And God will deliver you from every situation, not from the power from on high, but from Amen. Little Bible, Unkulunkulu was a Wakatala, Ubushunga Babebuzu. And I see God confirming this word regarding your life. I am tired to see you suffer. Amen. The Bible says God was tired to see the Israelites suffer. And I tell you today, he, he is tired to see you suffer. It's, about, it's your time to shine now. It's your time to come out from the cave like Gideon and face your Goliath. It's time that you face your Goliath as a young boy, David, but it's your time. There were 22,000 men. Only 10,000 men were left. And God still, and, and I could feel the disappointment. About 12,000 wonke usabe, usabu kambanam. I can sense the disappointment. Go get your note. Now long him tembile po. Have you ever been disappointed in Abanto Buba Tembin? The very same people behind the book, Kulumuguti, I ain't a Shangan, they are talking now. Have you ever applied for a job? Your previous employer as a funnel of a reference. Atang Maslomut. But I declare today, whoever is Oti Agawazi, whoever that is denying you, shall look for you and do good by you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Whoever I, I, them, I compel them to remember you in Jesus' name. And God in verse 4 says, there are still too many people. Gideon 10,000 is too many. I don't want them to say, Gamantla el twenty you know why God, you, God is allowing you to suffer so long? Because God, God is letting you suffer. It's because God wants you so that no one takes the glory because there will be glory after the pain. There will be glory after the tribulations. There will be glory after trials. There will be glory after the tears. But God, the one thing I share that glory. So he will walk with you. Uzok fundi sugutum ten. Oh, there are still too many. I go, God, sisuga go twenty two thousand. How can you say ten thousand is too many? And God says, I have a strategy right now. You're not gonna tell them to go back abasabai. I want you to go by the water. I want you, Gideon, take these men by the water. Let them drink the water. I want you to choose for me the men that I can go with them to fight. And the Bible says to Gideon, said, Unkulukulu to Gideon, Bonka baso kukaganti. Nati. Bashe. Akuswangu tinengu vihim. But, Utata bonka baso tu. And God said, now take the 300 and move through and go. But God, I am tired. I am tired. And you just won't get almost 20,000 people are gone. 
this is a season for you to wipe away your tears and push forward. God has seen your tears. God has seen your cries. But now it's the time to wipe away your tears and push forward. Now it's the time. But wipe yourself and rise up and trust God that by his mighty and righteous hand he shall uphold you. And I see God wiping away those tears. Here's the promise, Bazarwan. When you wipe your tears and decide to go forward, irregardless of you being weary, as you step forward, as you stretch forth your, your hand, your rod, Moses, he separates the waters. As you stretch forth, Joshua, as you separate Sometimes you are not seeing his because you are not doing anything. And God says, why are you crying out to me? And I hear God saying, I've heard your cry. Stop crying. Move forward. Go forward. Cross the river Jordan. Cross this sea. Cross whatever mountain that is before you. Go forward, go forward, go forward. David says, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I'm going to even though I stay. Ut even though I walk, because you are supposed to walk even when you are tired. You don't stop because you are tired. You stop because you are done. Move away from your place of misery by faith. And go on to your next level. I know sometimes pain becomes so comfortable. You know you are so used to your pain that you don't want people to feel sorry for you because now we are turned a lent or attention or attract eye. But you need to move from that place. Be like Bartimaeus. The Bible says, "O Bartimaeus, what message do you have to give to the world?" What to Jesu, Ubandong Bizile was Suguma, Miss Suguma, why she in Kubo, Awaya in Batayok Ella. Because he knew that this was the last time I'm, I'm begging because now I'm meeting my breakthrough. And I declare today, if you can only move, take a step of faith and move forward, your breakthrough is waiting on the other side. Abraham didn't know that the lamb was on the other side. All he could hear was the pain. I can see them, the wood. I can see the fire. But where is is the lamb as of Mshachelo, not knowing how to reply, not knowing when Gazi, he just said by faith in Kosis of Onelena, not knowing that God will provide. But as you are going up the mountain this side, a lamb is going on the mountain the other side, and you shall meet it on top. And if you remain on the bottom, how do you break through? You're not going to meet your breakthrough. You have suffered long enough. You have suffered long enough. It's high time now that usugume by faith. Bugula by violent faith. Listen, you have suffered long enough. You have suffered long enough. You have stayed for long enough in this mountain. Lentaba usui chigeleze long enough. Lento ya kogu chinto misi shangan, wenga shangan, you have stayed for long enough. And I understand why you are tired. You've cried enough. We have tried that, it's not working. You can move by faith. If you can't move on your own, move by faith. If you can't do it on your own, do it by faith. The Bible says Abraham, in, in hope, he hoped. Meaning there was nothing to hope for. There was nothing to hold and say, I'm hoping because he passed the stage of giving birth. But in hope, he hoped. I'm here to tell you that if you can't hope anymore, hope in hope. Praise the Lord. 
if you can't praise God anymore, just praise in praise. Goba wet me bugu sara, u sara pass the stage. At me buga yena, I go no sechu leg tala, but in hope he hoped. Knowing that the one who has promised, he was faithful to fulfill. Why do we hope in hope? It's because God is faithful enough to fulfill every promise that he has declared over our lives. It doesn't matter the time frame. It doesn't matter the time span. But all that we know is that we will live to see the goodness of the Lord. I know you are tired. But keep pursuing. God will replenish you. Are you tired? The Lord is going to give you strength today. Are you tired of suffering? God is about to give you strength today. Are you tired of, 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 of being poor? God will give you strength today. Are you tired of being sick? God is about to give you strength today. Are you tired of having no money all the time? Whenever there is a need, you have a stress. But God will give you strength because he says, I give strength, I give power, I give joy to those who are weak and to those who are tired. And who, if you are tired, receive the strength from the Lord right now. While you are waiting, I will give you rest. That the rest means he is ognigeza or is into just to keep you moving forward. He told Saul and said, Saul, as you're looking for your donkey, I want you to know that the donkey has been found. But what you're going to do right now, you will go up the mountain. You shall meet a person with bread and wine. Take the bread and wine and move on. That's the rest from God. And you shall meet the prophets as you go on with the journey. Just join them and prophesy until you are turned into another man. One thing God will not do is to take out from that situation. Is to take out from you that situation. So Saul, I want you to go. I want you to join that company. I want you to prophesy with them until you are turned into another man. And if you I, and I see and I sense that it's high time that you are turned into another man. That whatever situation you were in is, is going to turn you around. It's going to change your heart. It's going to transfigure your mind. Because you must not leave that company until you are turned into another man. Don't rush out to come out. God is still busy with you. God will not give you something that will kill you in the long run. You must be able to say, I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting on you, Lord. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. If you don't want to wait, you will wait. Even if you hate waiting, you will wait. If you hate being tired, you will get tired. Even if you you Long enough, Can you hear that? My flesh sometimes gets tired. Sometimes my flesh says it's too much. Have you have have you experienced a pain that tunga tunga keep in chizo yako ui police ui have have you ever been in that situation? That you feel like my heart is about to stop in any time. Have you ever been in, in, in that situation? 
that you don't feel a need to go to church. You don't feel a need to go to prayers because what's the use of I've prayed most? I've been in that situation myself. I've prayed to God and I would come out victorious in prayer, but life would look at me and say, what have you just done? And I will confess the word and stop confessing. I remember when Gogo passed away, I stopped confessing divine protection. Because I was like, what's the use? There's no divine protection. Where were you, God, when Gogo was shot? Me, Naganyangit, you can't ask God which way were you. But sometimes I ask God. Because my flesh and my heart may fail. Sometimes it fails until I don't even have the strength to pick myself up. All I do, I look up and I cry and say, God, what do I do now? Your, your flesh will fail you sometimes. Your heart will fail you sometimes. And you'll ask yourself, did I make the right decision? Have you ever made a decision now? Trust in God, but only to find delay and Okay, God did not tell. But now I'm going because my flesh is failing me. My flesh is failing me. But God, where were you? I want to tell you, God is right there. God is right there. God is right there. God is right there. You are tired, I understand. But keep pursuing. Don't stop. I know it's tiring, but keep pursuing. I know it's tiring, but keep pursuing. I know it's tired, it's tiring to trust God for a baby, but keep pursuing. I know it's tiring, it's tiring to keep on giving when things are not going right, but keep on pursuing. Keep on pursuing. Why? Why you must keep pursuing? Because, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Though my flesh may fail, Though my heart may fail, but God is my strength. God is, is the strength of my heart. In is why I'm sitting here, Puma Glom Chat. In is the cartella to suffer. But I want to tell you now, you have sat to pen the month in Arco. But just depend on the strength that God is making it available for you right now. I know the Nansema examiner was no be a bala, no be a puma. I was no good to Zoe. What's gonna be the, 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 the turnout of your life? But all I'm saying, your strength will fail you, your might will fail you. But but you can depend on the strength of the Lord to, as and he must become your portion forever. When you can't trust anything, just trust God. When you, when you, when you feel hopeless, find your hope in God. I know. I know. It's too much. You, you've even buried your dreams. When people tell, talk about that thing, you're like, I am say food, but deep down you know, it's because I waited for too long. I know. Oh, Mama says, Shunemi will tell you. What you are going through. I waited for a baby until I got to How 
do we know? It's because who said for prophet who said it, by this time this year, you by this time next year, you shall hold your son. And the Bible says, What about whoa, 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 prophet Manala Poge? Don't raise my hopes. I've buried that dream. Don't raise my hopes. And I know as I'm preaching to you, I'm saying you're going to receive the same thing like, Mom, Bishop, you've said that before. Don't raise my hopes. And I'm not raising you hopes because I know God will give you the strength that you need. I know God is your portion forever. I know God is strengthening your weak heart, your weak flesh. All of a sudden, you will have the power to rise up and pursue that thing. You will have the power to pursue your family. You will like giving up on it. You will have the power to pursue your career. Maybe I'm in a wrong career. No, you are not in a wrong career. But some things need patience. Journey sometimes gets too long. Sometimes we booms a lot. What we could fight some suicidal thoughts. But what you know, I can't suffer like this. And what we have one, which before I got born again, things were much better. But I'm here today to encourage you. Keep pursuing. Keep pursuing. Pursue righteousness. Pursue your career. Pursue your family. Pursue whatever that you've been neglecting because and I pray that in your wilderness. But I pray that you receive your manna today. That whenever you wake up, you receive your manna. That whenever you wake up, you receive your manna. Uh, because I know what it is to trust God for a manna. Trust God for a manna every day. I pray that you receive your manna every day. It might not be too much, but God, give them manna every day. Give them manna every day, Lord, I pray. Give them manna every day, Lord, I pray. I know they are tired of praying, but I pray on their behalf, Lord. I know they are tired of asking because it seems as if you are not listening. But, Lord, I come on their behalf, Jesus. Give them manna every day, something that will tell them you are still there. Something that will tell them that you still care, Lord. I understand you are tired. I understand you are tired. But stopping right now, it's not going to help. You have suffered for too long to stop right now. You so relega kululom chatu munga wiega ngobu. You have suffered for long enough. You might as well keep pursuing. You might as well keep going on. You might as well keep pushing. You might as well keep moving forward. The four lepers, they said, we will sit here until we die. Let us die going forward. And I declare by the power of God that whatever situation that meant to kill you will not kill you. You will not die. You will die going forward. You will die pursuing your dreams. You will die pursuing your career. You will die pursuing your family. You will die pursuing your businesses. And nothing shall be neglected. You shall die going forward in the mighty name of Jesus. What was meant to kill you will lift you up. What was meant to kill you will lift you up. And I declare today, lift up your hands by the power of God that whatever weapons that has been forged against you shall not prosper. And every tongue that speaks against you, I refute it in the mighty name of Jesus. I refute every tongue that rises against you, that says you will not prosper, that says you will not go forward, that says you will not amount to anything. I cancel it. I refute it. 
anointed in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come on, receive the strength from the Lord. Come on, receive the rest from the Lord. Today, by the power of God, I give you wings to fly. By the power of God, first that in my life, I give you wings to go and for everything that you desire. Go for whatever that you desire. And the Bible says, according to Psalms, the Lord shall give you the desires of your heart. And I declare that you shall have all that you desire in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever that is yours will not pass you by. Whatever that has been allocated unto you, though it may tarry, but it will not pass you by. It will not pass you by. All I'm praying for you. When the spirit of the, the, the enemy rises against you, oh, don't leave your position. Don't leave your position. Don't allow the devil to put you under the pressure. You don't have any pressure. You don't have to impress anyone. If you are tired, sit down and take some rest and keep on moving. You don't have to be under pressure. The devil has no hold on you. Oracle. 